What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745, and I have to say, the audio is going to be completely messed up on this one. The video did not record, or I lost it somehow. Just something didn't go right. So the audio may not match the video, but we're still going to try our best to fill in the blanks, and at least give you a first look at Beetle. And I promise we'll have a video again very soon, and we're going to have them for the rest of the week including at least one or two on the weekend. So we're going to make up for the long holiday weekend, and of course for this video error. I hope you can forgive me. Alright everyone, we are back and we're going to find out where we finish in the current PvP tournament. So we had a pretty rough night, a huge negative loss. But I think we're going to be okay. So let's see how we did. Okay, so we got adamantium and that means... 100,000 silver, 10 gold of course, followed by the Screaming Cannon. Now this is an AoE catastrophic weapon. It's a ranged gun sonic attack, so it's going to help out with a few different characters. Now one cool thing is it provides elusive, high chance to evade enemy counterattacks and follow-ups. Then it's going to cause Sky is Falling. So allies, sonic and ground attacks have a 50% chance to create falling debris. Now when you use it, it's going to give your team feedback so they'll deal additional damage when they're attacked. And it's going to apply dementia plus internal bleeding to the enemy team. Pretty great with cloak and dagger, morbius and so on. So all in all, this is a pretty decent weapon that we may want to try out. Now moving on to the Vibranium League reward, it's the blueprint for the tactician's infused tech suit. This suit provides biohazard support, so immune to harmful poison and bio effects, reduces damage taken from bio attacks, and it also grants system of toxicity. Debuff actions drain stamina from the target. Melee attacks will gain envenomed, and you'll take less damage from damage over time effects. All in all, that's not too bad. Those are some pretty interesting passives and build-in abilities. But for the main reward, Adamantium, we received Beetle, a dual class tactician and infiltrator. She begins with battle preparation, chance to follow up on single target attacks, and chance to follow up on an ally single target attack. Next she has Cunning Mind. That's basically just restating how she's an infiltrator and a tactician, with advantages and disadvantages of both. After that, she has durability, so she has a chance to significantly reduce the damage of an attack. And since she's a flyer, she's immune to ground attacks. So here she is, let's check her out. Then we'll see her in action, at least for a brief time. Once again, we have every character in the game. And as a collector, I'm very happy with that. What? Never seen an ankle bracelet before? I know. Clashes with the suit, doesn't it? Well, if you guys didn't think I would run the first chance I get, we wouldn't have this fashion crisis. So you're going to take it off, right? No? Well, it was worth a shot. Can't blame a girl for trying. Okay, so she definitely is a villain. And I think should have been a lockbox character. Still though, we will take a look at her in PvE. Just to get a first look at her, we're going to go into Chapter 10. And one of the first team ups we're going to try with her is Spidey Noir. So she has a pretty high chance to follow up her own attacks. And he of course almost always joins in. So there you're going to see her follow up as she just grabs a gun and fires it. Now on Spider-Man Noir's turn, we're going to use his level 1. And she will actually follow up his attack as well. So that's why it's great having a single target attacker. And someone who benefits from her following up then I don't really mind these tacticians because she is an infiltrator and gains advantages from attacking them. Combat reflexes. But we'll still finish him off with the Blade of the Guardian. And yeah, I know we're at level 2 already, and that's because, like I said earlier, there were video problems. So we had to re-edit this part. Still though, we're going to take a little bit of an extended look at her. Let's check her out in one more fight. Now as far as this Beetle and Spidey Noir team, it didn't work perfectly. Still though, I think the team did pretty well, and we already have her on our way in leveling. So I'll try to have another really early first look at her, maybe even in PvP. 
and we'll do that prior to the next All Hail the King episode. In more recent events, there was a long holiday weekend, so I apologize for the delay. But the Thor Jane Foster All Hail the King episode will be put out tomorrow. So please stay tuned for that. As for this season, I know it was frustrating, but I hope you all achieved your desired leagues. Congratulations to everyone on your finish. As always though, if you have any complaints or anything you want to say about PvP, please post it in the comment section below. I would love to hear it, and PD may read the comments as well. You never know. So just let it out. Whatever you have to say. That's going to be it for this first look and rewards video. But I want to thank you all for watching. Ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.